to the young people and they would basically want to treat the young people with contempt. First allow me to indicate that the spirit and the wording of BBI is about inclusivity. It's about us celebrating our diversity by accommodating each other. That is the spirit of BBI. And as it was aptly said by the president, if we can summarize the nine-point agenda of BBI, then we'd have one as political inclusion, then two, we have the youth factor. Political inclusion is a topic that has been adversely uh, discussed by the political class. And as we speak, and if we reflect back to the forefathers who started our nation, you'd realize that at that particular point we never had contradicting or antagonistic voices. Whenever we had an issue that affected the nation, the leaders of that particular time would come together, sit down and agree on the way forward. And it's not just in Kenya, even one of the most influential uh, scholars of the African continent and the first president of uh, Senegal, Leopard uh, Sengo, talks about that concept that uh, in an African society, if you have an issue, the old and the young can be able to sit together, discuss the issue, discern the issue, then arrive at a conclusion that is befitting to all of the members of the segment of the population that they represent. And that's what I want to urge our leadership, that let them be accommodative to the young people, that let them not treat the young people with contempt, especially the election even that we are going to talk about in 2022. Most of the young people who are going to vote are actually born in 2004. They're actually millennials. So if you treat us with contempt, I wonder how you'll be able to treat those people who are born post-2000. <laughs> Secondly, there is the issue about the economy, and the president outlined it yesterday, that we have a challenge because we have a bulging youth population. So far, so good. The uh, statistics that we have, the number of the young people in the country are over 39 million. That is more of than 70% of the population that we have. This is a segment that needs structured and deliberate policy intervention so that they can actually be sure of their destiny and also the destiny of the country. And the president even went further to point out that if we do not take care of our bulging youth population, then we are steering at a timing bomb. And that's why the president is the UNICEF global ambassador for youth empowerment. I don't think that position came because he was a young person. I don't, that, I don't think that position came because he was an African president, but because they knew at the international level that he had the ideas, the aspirations, and the views of the young people at heart. Thirdly, allow me to point out this, that when the youth insist on them being part of the table, it is not because they have been aggrieved or because of the political persuasions. It is because the youth have been left out, the youth have been left out of each and every development initiative of the government from uh, the time that we got our independence. And that's why we are welcome the BBI document, that we are saying we have been guaranteed a seat at the table. That seat will ensure that we participate in the decision making of the country and will also ensure that when it comes to baking the cake that will benefit all the entire uh, people of our country, then the youth must also have a say and also must participate, but will also participate on how we are going to bake that cake. Fourthly, there is that narrative that the young people need to move away from rhetoric, especially empty rhetoric by politicians. We need to move away from empty rhetoric and embrace issues of innovation and issues of invention. And I want also to thank in a special way the CAS for Education. We have seen him crisscrossing the country promoting TVETs, our technical and vocational institutions. That is one of the pillars of the economy that we want to build. And yesterday I said, and probably just in continuation, that the BBI document envisages it in a threefold. That once we have the TVET, our young people can be able to be trained with the skills that are relevant to the market. The second aspect of it is that we have Biashara Mashinani Fund that is actually going to enable the people who have been trained with the necessary skills to be able to access funds, to be able to fund or rather even start their own business.